We have over a billion and a half dollars worth of infrastructure in the ground, and we have a very robust program to protect that pipeline. It's been in place since the 90s. In fact, it's probably one of the leading programs in the nation. We've reduced the failure rates dramatically for Cedar Creek and for RC since the 90s. Our curves at this time showed we would have had exponentially more failures per year than we do currently. This Cedar Creek pipeline is our oldest pipeline. It's been in the ground since the early 1970s. And unfortunately, the standards in the early 70s for that particular type of pipe were relaxed. So the, the wire that's so important in maintaining the hoop strength of that pipe was of a poor metallurgy, too high of a tensile strength. It was more subject to embrittlement, to failure. We had failures that were catastrophic in nature. There's a lot of energy in this pipe, in this pre-stressed concrete cylinder pipe. And so when it fails, it's a significant event. So in the mid-90s, we were seeing significant numbers of failures coming up on us, and that began our pipeline integrity program in response to those. We helped pilot a new technology with an outside vendor uh, to determine through non-destructive testing means where exactly we have wire breaks in that pre-stressed concrete cylinder pipe. For every single pre-stressed concrete cylinder pipe, they'll give us the footage along that pipe where there is pipe uh, wire breaks. And then we put that all into the database. So every single segment in our database, we know how many wire breaks and where those wire breaks are in our system. And then from there, not only knowing the wire breaks, but if we have 25 wire breaks, what does that mean? So that's what our structural model tells us, is it tells us if that pipe is with a certain pressure and those wire breaks, are we exceeding that limit of that pipe? We were able to identify which segments were most distressed through the pure electromagnetic inspections. And through our, working with our operations staff, we began identifying about 15 joints of pipe per year that were the highest risk and in need of replacement. A lot of times if we have had a failure, we look at that data and to see what was going on at that time. And so that can really help us evaluate why we had that failure. And this is why we have this entire program, is to get ahead of those failures over time. For us here at TRWD, it's been very important to be good stewards of our infrastructure. Water sector industry research has shown that this condition assessment-based approach with all the inspection costs and the prioritized replacements run about four to five percent of what an entire full replacement cost would run. From the pure inspection data to the structural evaluation to the risk modeling, we've come a long ways. I think we're a pioneer where we've taken the program from just inspection data to knowing what that inspection data means and how to utilize it best to repair and rehabilitate your pipeline.